day in the life of a pre-med student doing brain cancer research. Hi, my name is Megan and I am currently taking a gap year before I go to medical school. And during my gap year, I have had the honor of doing brain cancer research at TGen in Dr. Behrens' lab. Today, I'm gonna show you guys what a typical day in my life looks like. So I start my day off getting ready and eating breakfast before heading into work. TGen is located in downtown Phoenix and on a good day, my commute usually only takes around half an hour. When I get into the office, I like to map out my schedule for the day and get a good idea of what needs to be done. Today, I started by doing some immunofluorescence imaging, and this is a technique that allows me to image specific receptors and targets within cells. My lab recently started growing brain tumor organoids, which can be thought of as mini brain tumors grown in a dish. And what's really cool about these is that we can actually take tumor cells directly from patients and grow them in a laboratory setting. And this helps us study how brain tumors, specifically glioblastomas, grow and how they respond to specific treatments. And, and it was lunchtime. After lunch, I spent some time putting together some figures of the immunofluorescence imaging I had conducted that morning, and this is my mentor, Nan. I worked closely with Nan throughout my internship, and in this presentation, I was just showing her the data I had gotten, my analysis, and then after I finished presenting, we just collaborated and discussed my next steps for this particular project. After that, I spent some time annotating a journal club article because this week was my week to present at our weekly lab meeting. After I finished all my work, I headed home for the day. I absolutely love Arizona sunsets. And of course, as soon as I got home, I had to greet my dogs. Then I headed off to the gym. Today was a quad focus lower body day and I just started my session off with some barbell squats. After the gym, I headed home to get ready for bed and do it all over again. And that was my...